Hi everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download why to put them onto Dolphin Emulator. So let's get started. So, first you want to do is go into the link in the description and you want to try to find the game of your choice or games of your choice. For this example, I'm going to scroll down and choose um, Super Mario 64 right here. Now we are going to wait for that to finish installing. All right, it is done. So now we're gonna. Uh, so now I'm going to go to my file explorer. This part, this part of the video is completely optional because I have a directory where I put all my ROMs and WADs and stuff. But you can make one if you want to, or you could just use the regular downloads directory. It's all up to you where you put your ROMs and WADs. So, so we want to go to our downloads. Then we're going to take our 64 wide and then I'm going to put it into the watts folder I made earlier. Alright, there it is. Now, I'm just going to close out this. Uh, minimize this. I'm going to be using that later. Then, what you want to do is if you don't know how to already and have a and made a folder that's called watts or, where, or somewhere where you put your watts, you want to go to config, then you want to click on add, then you want to go and choose where you Major wad I just have it here on my desktop ROMs we wad then you could just push select folder. I already did that also I won't have to worry about it. But if you wanna if you made a wad folder while watching this video and wanna add it to Dolphin, that's how. So yeah. So now to set up the controller. You wanna go to controller when you go to configure. Uh the actual remote part doesn't really matter. I didn't care to set it up, but you can if you want to. But the only really thing you really need to do is just go onto extension and choose classic controller here. Then go to extension here to set up the buttons depending on what your the c controller you're using is, whether it be keyboard or actual gaming or keyboard and mouse or actual gaming controller. Uh, so you can see I put it as an Xbox controller, and I just named the Profile SM64. Be sure you name give to name uh, give the oh sorry can't talk today. Be sure you give the controller a profile name and then save. You want to just close all that and then yeah that's practically it. I'm going to do a quick gameplay test, but you can just leave now. So in advance, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. I'm just gonna watch him. I'm just gonna quickly just play around in the mud and stuff real quick. Just to show that everything works well. Uh. Okay, so as you can see, everything was working out well. And if you made it this far, I highly appreciate it. And or I really appreciate it. And yeah, thanks for watching. Adios.